in this demo today, we're going to create a persistent volume and we're going to run MySQL inside Kubernetes. So we have to create a persistent volume. You see there's nothing created. Okay, Person, persistent volume claims. So in this case, I'm going to share in the product while I run the command. So, so, and so here we are. Um, we have the persistent volume and the deployment file. So let's run the persistent volume. This is my volume file. And here's the code itself. And after I show the deployment. So <clears throat> we just create a persistent volume claim. It's our kind of deployment and a persistent volume. So in Kubernetes, we're going to have persistent volume claim can see in a persistent volume. All right. All right. Now we go to deploy the deployment file. So apply dash F deployment YAML. Okay. It's going to workloads. Yeah, we just deployed MySQL here. How can we access MySQL inside the Kubernetes? Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to check out our pods here. kubectl get pods. Running MySQL. Let's check the server deployments. You can scale up and down. Let's get SVC services. Okay. And what we are able to do now, yeah, we have to access the instance, all right? So how we do that? Easy. Now, first we could also describe each deployment. In this case, we have MySQL deployment after we check that. In this case, we're gonna run this command. One second. The password we just defined is pretty simple on the deployment. Um, I'm gonna double check my YAML file. That's something we should use with the secrets. So in this case, we didn't put TPM1234. So we just connected, show databases. Let's use MySQL. So you just connect inside the MySQL inside the Kubernetes. Well, that's how simple it is to run a dockerized image inside the Kubernetes. And the way you have just to configure how to access that. If you want, I'm gonna leave the on the description the the project. And uh, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show that again. I think uh, I should. I didn't show the deployment, so let's go to deployment. This is deployment file, right? and I create also a service. As you can see here, this is our service. Services, you have MySQL services. And here on the workloads, first thing you see the pods. So you have a service, which points to the metadata MySQL, all right? And here are all the definitions of the The main thing is the Docker image. So, if you have any questions, please comment on the video. It's pretty simple to run Docker image on the co containerized, containerized application inside the Kubernetes. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.